okay question number 29 is can coal and petroleum be prepared in the laboratory from dead and decay matter explain means if you say yes then also you have to explain if you say no then also you have to explain okay the shortest answer can be yes and you can prepare it but then it's your answer okay uh, it may be like when you grow up you may try it but for now what we are aware of okay till now there is no method of preparing coal and petrol in laboratories even if we use dead organism even if we use dead plants and animals which we, we cannot convert them into uh, you know coal and petrol or any kind of exhaustible fuels or any kind of fossil fuels because when we say these are fossil fuels it means that it is uh, being made by very very slow process okay it takes millions of years until date it is not possible to make it in the laboratory about future we cannot say anything but we'll talk when we talk about at present present day so what uh, should be the answer no it cannot be prepared in the laboratory and why explain why because it is a very slow process okay the formation of the conversion of uh, trees and plants into coal or the conversion of tiny organism into petrol is a very very slow process okay and uh, so it cannot be made in the laboratories so what should i write the question is can coal and petroleum be prepared in the laboratory from dead matter so to answer answer to this is what no now what is the next one explain so what has to be written like what shall be the what shall be the answer what should i write because the formation of fossil fuels is very slow process which take millions of years which take millions of years so can't be prepared in the laboratory okay we don't know any uh, any scientist uh, or anyone out of you may uh, do this miracle of making or creating the petrol and diesel and coal in the laboratory but till date it's not at all possible to make uh, fossil fuels in the laboratory as it is very slow process as it takes millions of years and so no way it cannot be prepared in the laboratories now come to the question number 30 yeah it's 30 now okay so the question is the students of green view apartments Okay, the students of Greenview Apartments go to school by prepaid car together instead, instead of individual cars. Okay, what they are saying that the students of Greenview Apartment, they are taking the name of any apartment, okay, or the students of XYZ school or any building, they go by a, they go to school by prepaid car together instead of individual cars as this helps to conserve petrol what value do they exhibit okay it's a value based question so what are the qualities in these students which you can judge about which you can talk about so children obviously there is a great love for the environment okay there is a, you know there is a feeling of responsibility like yeah it's my mother earth it's my country 
okay it's my earth we do not we don't have to pollute it rather we have to keep it safe okay so what qualities can you observe we can see true love for the mother earth love for country responsibility isn't it and even to uh, you know a feeling of sharing like they all share the car and they go that means they have a judgmental power uh, like they make the proper decisions it, it is a good decision that they all go by the prepaid car all together and uh, they can even also save money but what are the good things so uh, first thing which comes in mind is love for environment all mother earth okay and even love for what love for our country okay love for the country and even sense of responsibility sense of responsibility okay like it's not on always putting the blame on others okay it's not like it's the uh, responsibility of the government it's a responsibility of someone blah 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 but it's their responsibility it's our responsibility it's my responsibility okay so it's love truly love for the environment it's true love for the country it's love for the um, among the nature okay and uh, also the sense of responsibility which you can see because they are responsible to take the charge okay it's very very important children in life to take the charge to take the responsibility okay that yeah i am responsible for that and even i can make the difference okay even i a small part of the whole uh, you know uh, world i can make the difference okay but in a positive way okay so this was about the question number 30 now we'll move to the next question now next question is question number 31 Now question number 31 is about explain okay short notes short note on acid rain okay so they are talking about acid rain okay so what is the meaning of acid rain children when okay what happens in acid rain see when the fossil fuels are burned okay or when the industries when the poisonous gases when the poisonous smoke comes out from the industries okay so this smoke which comes out from the industries these um, vehicles okay which the when they release the smoke again the smoke contains gases like what nitrogen like all oxides you know all oxides all oxides are there when these oxides are released hmm? when these oxides are released from where these are released from the smoke like it comes out when the fossil fuels are burned okay from the smoke of the fossil fuel from the smoke of the industries these kind of gases they come in the atmosphere they become part of the environment they become part of the atmosphere now what happens when it drains okay and even the the water uh, uh, vapor which is present in the atmosphere so actually what happens you know these uh, gases they get dissolved in water and when these gases they get dissolved in water and again then when it rains these gases in the dissolved form come on the surface of the earth okay when these come on the surface of the earth now what happens they they get they react with water and acids are formed you are going to read this in the chapter metals and non metals that they how they react and how the acids are formed okay so what will happen 
when uh, when the when the acids are formed these these uh, gases get converted acids are formed and acid comes in the rain this kind of rain is known as acid rain now what are the effects now just now we have discussed how acid rain occurs okay now what are the effects acid rain is very corrosive okay it's very corrosive and it affects the monuments it corrodes the statues if you remember about the taj mahal okay in agra which is made up of marble pure white marble now it's turning what yellow why is it turning yellow because of the pollution because of the rain because of the many industries and factories which are situated just around the Ag uh, taj mahal okay the around the taj mahal means uh, in agra okay around agra now when these industries release poisonous smoke okay then this smoke again as i told you contains lot of gases which kind of gases oxides okay these oxides may be sulfur dioxide nitrogen dioxide okay carbon dioxide carbon even monoxide these get dissolved in water and it comes down in the form of the rain and it uh, it corrodes the uh, what monuments it corrodes the statues not only this when this rain when this kind of rain it falls it becomes a part of the aquatic uh, you know uh, water bodies when it becomes a part of the water bodies it affects the life of the aquatic animals adversely many aquatic animals have become extinct just because of pollution okay so it uh, is responsible for uh, the death and extinction of many animals aquatic animals okay now not only this now uh, it even when it falls in the fields so what happen the soil becomes the soil get burned actually burn means it's not like it's catching fire and soil is burning it's not like that it's the acidity of the soil get increased okay the fertility of the soil gets spoiled the fertility decreases okay and if it falls on the um, crops standing crops then obviously it is going to affect the uh, it, it it is going to affect adversely the crops will be what it won't it won't be yielding it won't be as good as um, uh, in the natural environment could have been okay so just now we have discussed about the acid rain so now we'll write about the acid rain what is acid rain when the fossil fuels are used they release poisonous gases which get dissolved in water and takes the form of acid rain okay so this is how acid rain takes place when the fossil fuels are used okay even the industries can be one of the reason industries smoke okay this can also be one of the reason so when the smoke comes out it contains gases which gases it can be it can be like oxides okay i'm writing in bracket i'm not writing the full form please explain it in your own words okay because it will become more else very big so when oxides comes and they get dissolved in water in when it rains okay and when it comes down acid rain takes place okay so when the fossil fuels are used they release poisonous gases which get dissolved in water or even you can write which get dissolved in rain water and takes the form of acid rain 
okay and how does it affects it's very corrosive it is very it is very corrosive okay and so it affects corrodes what it corrodes monuments like taj mahal okay and even statues okay it corrodes monuments and statues okay then just now what we discuss it spoils or it it decreases the fertility of the soil okay fertility of the soil okay it spoils or it increases the acidic nature of the soil okay it increases or it makes the soil acidic so these are the uh, effects of the acid rain that it corrodes the monument it corrodes the statues it affects the soil it affects the crops it decreases the fertility of the soil it uh, burns the soil it means it uh, spoils the nature of the soil it makes it more acidic okay so this was about the short note on the acid rain now we'll move to the next one now we'll talk about question number 32 which is like these are all short notes okay so just now we have discussed about the short note on the acid rain now we'll talk about the short note on the biofuels okay so it is 32 or we can say 31 b okay so this is again short note on biofuels okay now children do you know what is the meaning of biofuels because it was not there in the chapter it was not included in any of the topic which we have discussed okay but see uh, it is there in the question and so like we'll talk about biofuels now children see uh when we talk about crops which kind of crops do the farmers grow mostly edible crops maybe wheat bajra rice okay all such kind of crops and sometimes non edible also like maybe cotton indigo okay all such kind of crops are there along with that there are certain crops from which the fuels can be made okay there are certain crops from which the fuels can be made like jatropha and karanja okay these kind of crops are very very famous in usa but in india also these crops can be seen okay so farmers are going for such kind of crops like jatropha and karanja now what is this jatropha and what is this karanja children these are the plants out of like these plants are very very useful okay each and every part of these plants are useful see when we talk about seed seed can be used to extract the oil now these oil okay these oil means why i'm saying these these kyu bol rahi hu main because the oil which comes out from such kind of fuels uh, such kind of plants the seed see the plant gives seeds and when the oil is extracted from the seeds so what is there uh, the oil which comes out from the seed is used to make biofuels okay now these biofuels can be directly mixed up with the uh, like it can be mixed up with the diesel and can be used or it can be used directly without mixing it in the diesel or without mixing it in the petrol okay now i was talking about the utility of the jatropha and the karanja plant so from the like, seed is important because we get oil from it this oil is used to make biofuels the seed cake the leftover is used to make fertilizer okay then like each and every part of the plant is very very useful is used to make one or the other thing which we'll be discussing now 
Now, what are the advantages of biofuels? Why we should use biofuels? Why there is need to shift on such kind of fuels? See, because these are first of all uh, renewable resources. Okay, these are renewable resources. These very very important are uh, like they are. They do not create pollution. They are pollution free. They are uh, like they can be mixed up with a diesel and can be used. Individually also, like they can be uh, used separately also. Very good thing. It, there is no need to mix up with anything. Okay. Then the uh, the residue is not left. It uh, doesn't create smoke. Like all the qualities which we want to be there in the idle fuel is present in the fuels which we make from the jetropine karanja. Okay, so we have to write a short note on the biofuels. I will write in the form of the gist or in the short words. Okay, so first of all, biofuels are made from the it is made by the vegetable oils or animal fat ok I am talking about now biofuel I am not talking about jatropha in general I am talking ok I am not talking about particular one plant what are biofuels so these are the fuels which is obtained from the mixture of what either vegetable oil or animal fat means lipids <coughs> reacts with what lipids ok reacts with alcohol to form what will be formed when lipid will react with alcohol? So, what will be formed? Fatty acid, fatty acids, ester will be formed. Okay. Now, so what will be the next point? Now, jatropha is crop. Okay. From which? Biofuels are obtained. How this is important? Like seed, from seed what comes out? Oil, okay, and even seed cake is used to make is used in fertilizers. Okay, it is used to make fertilizers. See what is there? Vegetable oil, it is made from what? It is made from vegetable oil or animal fat. Okay. Now lipids reacts with alcohol to form fatty acids and esters. Now jatropha when we talk about it is very important crop or plant I should say. From these crops or these plants now what is done this plant is used to make biofuels ok. Now try to understand the seeds of the jatropha and the karanja can be used to take out the oil ok from which part of the plant from the seeds from the seeds the oil is being removed this oil is used to make biofuels ok now seed cake is also used in fertilizers ok now a different parts of the plant ok different parts now I am describing about jatropha ok do not get confused J uh, diff uh, different parts of the plant are 
used to make soaps okay even you know lubricants we have discussed about the lubricants lubricants okay soaps lubricant maybe few medicines you know now why biofuel is important because it gives biofuels are are smokeless okay do not leave okay do not leave any residue okay do not leave any residue okay these are clean fuel it is a cleaner fuel okay it is biodegradable okay it is biodegradable so so many things are there it can be used can be used along with diesel or can be used separately okay so we are talking about biofuels what is the meaning of biofuels the question is about write a short note on the biofuels that is, this is 31 uh, 31st question number it's b biofuels okay first of all need to understand what is the meaning of biofuel so biofuel is a fuel or a kind of a fuel which is made naturally by using natural substances okay so what are the natural substances this kind of fuels are made by using plants now which plants these are uh, like jatropha and karanja i have written only one here jatropha okay it was uh, not very much famous and now it was uh, i should not say was i should like it is not very very famous in our country but it's used uh, on a great scale uh, in the countries like usa okay so now why jatropha uh, what is jatropha now when, when we are talking about jatropha so we should know what is jatropha so it is a plant okay so um, farmers grow such kind of crops which are which uh, is used to make biofuels okay from this biodiesel is made okay what is made biodiesel is made now to talk about jatropha jatropha plant is very very important is very important means it's very useful okay each and every part of the plant is useful from the seeds the oil comes out the leftover is used in making fertilizers then from this plant only the soaps are being made lubricators are being made what is the meaning of lubricators like the one which reduce the oil which reduce the friction okay then uh, like what else it is used in making medicines many kind of soaps can be made from this so it plays a, like each and every part of this plant is very useful now why should we talk about shift on biofuels because biofuels are made from the natural substances and if the substance is made from the natural things then what will happen it will get degrade hai na it will be degradable kind of substance okay when we are part of the nature so what will happen each and every part of our get mixed up with the soil okay so like i'm talking like when the animals and plants die as it is a part of the nature so what will happen after the death it will become the part of the nature in the same way it this kind of fuels which are made from the uh, plants are what they are degradable that means they become the part of the nature 
they do not pollute the atmosphere they are cleaner kind of uh, fuels okay how it can be used it can be used by mixing it with the diesel the diesel which uh, which is used or even this kind of uh, biodiesel can be used separately okay now this was all about the biofuels so there is a great need to shift upon biofuels because we all know like the fuels which we are using is really expensive are what they are exhaustible uh, and that means non renewable and uh, again they cause lot of pollution so to just pay a, uh, to give our role also like even we have to do something to reduce the pollution we can use such kind of fuels which uh, can help the earth okay which can help us to survive for few more uh, hundreds years on the surface of the earth okay so this was about the biofuels now we'll talk about the 31st answer c okay the 31st answer c is